Welcome caregivers. This is the third Qigong practice. This is the practice that goes along with the class where we focus on breath work. My name is Diana, and I'm here with some of my wonderful colleagues and we work in the VA's National Caregiver Center out of Memphis, Tennessee. So these are some of my wonderful colleagues. Roxy's on the front row with Linda. On the back row we have Chris and John and then April is behind the camera doing all the behind the scenes work. Now before we get started it's important to just make sure that we each only do the things that feel okay for our bodies to do. We're trying to reduce stress, we're not trying to add to our stress. So we want to make sure that we are moving gently and slowly. So let's get started. And just like usual we're going to start with the three treasures, our posture, breath and our mind. So make sure that you're sitting or standing up nice and tall, but that your head is nice and relaxed. And if you're standing, just make sure that you have a little bend in your knees and that takes pressure off of those knee and ankle and hip joints. Okay, breath. So just make sure that we're actually breathing. Try not to hold our breath. Make sure that we're doesn't have to be any special pattern. And that third treasure that we have with us everywhere we go, that's our mind. So let's get our minds ready, nice and relaxed, not worrying about maybe something that happened earlier, not worrying about things that we need to get done later in the day. Let's just be present right here and now. Open minds, ready to enjoy this practice. And while we're in the space with our open minds, go ahead and set your intention for this practice. What do you intend to get from this practice? Is it just being able to spend some time together with other caregivers? Is it learning something new? Is it adding to your repertoire of um, stress management techniques? Is it um, figuring out maybe an alternative way of doing some of the movements and stretches. Whatever your intention is, is the right thing. And whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes. And we're gonna start with a gathering breath. So our hands are just gonna scoop up kind of to our faces and then let the chi, let the energy kind of fade over. So bringing the chi, the energy, and then letting it wash over. So let's inhale as we gather. And exhale. You can gather the energy from the sun. of the earth and the plants. And let's gather one last time. And now let's go straight into the flowing motion. So hands are up and speed feels comfortable for you. Exhale. Okay, now we're 
you're going to be bending from side to side. So if you're standing, you can have your feet together or apart. Just make sure that you feel nice and balanced. So let's inhale and exhale and lean to one side. You can use your arm overhead, but you don't have to. Inhale back to the center. And exhale to the other side. Inhale back up. And that's the whole movement. Just a nice, gentle lean. Whatever feels good for you and your body. stretch this way and inhale back up to the center. Good. Okay, so let's massage our hands. If you've been with us for each of the practices, you may remember that we did this in the very first video. So what we're doing again is we're massaging the whole palm of our hand. Everything fingers and thumbs. And we each get to use whatever pressure feels best for us. Some people prefer a lighter touch. Some people prefer more pressure. You get to do what's best for you. And we're not going to forget all the spaces in between our fingers. And if you find a spot that feels a little bit sore or a little bit tender, you can just spend a little extra time there giving it a little bit more attention. And whenever you're ready, you just move on to the other hand. as you probably remember, are one of the microsystems of the body. So our hands, our feet, and our ears are all microsystems. They all have points, reflex points, that correlate to all the different parts of the body, all of the body's systems. And so instead of having to know what specific point might help let's say the skeletal system or maybe my low back in particular, if I just massage everything, I know that I'm getting all of those reflex points. Again, any little spot that needs a little more attention, you just give it a little more attention. You are completely in charge here. And then whenever you're finished, go ahead and take your hands and massage a part of your body that might have a little bit of tension, maybe a little bit of pain. And you get to decide where this is. You get to decide how much pressure you use. And again, there's no fancy special technique. You just do what feels best for you. spot that needs a little more attention, you just go ahead and move to that spot. And then let's go ahead and do our size of relief. So we'll take a deep inhale, and then when we exhale, we'll do that vocalization, okay? 
Awesome. So deep belly breath in. practice the essential breath. So we start with a deep belly breath, just like we just did. So take in, inhale as deeply as you can, filling up your belly, but don't stop there. Continue breathing so that you fill up your chest and then let it go. And go ahead, you can put one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. So deep inhale through the belly, fill up the chest, and then let it go. And it doesn't matter whether you use your mouth or your nose, you do what feels best for you. And if you're standing, just again, make sure you have a little gentle bend in your knees. So this essential breath is something you can do any time of the day. Anytime you feel like you need a little bit of relaxation, and it only takes a few seconds. Let's do one more. And let it go. Okay, now we're going to be bending backward and forward. So again, the basic movement is that when we bend our spines backward, we're arching our backs. And it might help you to raise your chin up to the ceiling. That might help. And then when we bend forward, it's like we're contracting our upper body on the front side. So if it helps, you can take your chin to your chest and then contract your belly, contract your toes, your arms, your hands, your face, everything you can think of. All right, so let's put it all together now. So inhaling up to bend backward and Exhale to bend forward. You can let your, let your fists meet at the top of your belly if you like. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. And we'll just do a couple more. Whatever speed feels best for you. Trying to make it one continuous, fluid, gentle movement. Contracting everything you can think of to contract. And one more. And relax. Okay, let's practice reaching up and stretching out. So with your fingers interlaced, inhale up. And exhale down. Inhaling up. And exhale. And let's pause for just, for just a second here. So you can continue to do the movement this way, which is perfectly fine. If we want to um, have um, an additional breath work exercise, we can do that with this movement. So what we're gonna be doing is, we will still inhale up to the top, but then we're gonna hold the breath for just a moment. We will exhale as our arms come down, and then we'll also hold the breath there for just a moment. Now, if any of that is uncomfortable for you in any way, please don't worry about it. Okay, so inhaling up and hold the breath and exhale down. And hold the breath. Inhaling. And 
Do one more, just the regular way without holding your breath. Very nice. Okay, and the last thing that we're going to be doing is doing a neck massage for ourselves. Yay! Okay, so just start with just two fingers on the bottom of that. Um, of that occipital ridge, otherwise known as that sticky outy bone. <laughs> and just massage around that whole area, kind of lightly. You can massage all around there. You can massage in circles or go across the top, whatever feels good for you. And then Gently with with your all of your fingertips on the on the back of your neck. Gently. And then the space between your shoulder blades. Let's give that a little bit of love. You can kind of stretch out to both sides and massage there if you like. Okay, now with one hand, and it doesn't matter which one it is, you're going to um, put your hand behind your neck. And your hand is going to be cupped like this, so that your fingers are facing out and, you know, kind of um, in front of you. And then you're going to drag those fingers all the way across. And gently get all that whole area. Whenever you finish, you just go back to the beginning and do it again. Again, only, only using the pressure that feels best for you. If you want to add a little bit more movement to it, um, if you're facing forward and your arm is, you see that your elbow is bent, you can turn your head to the opposite side and then, as you massage, gently move your head to face your elbow. Again, if that causes you any kind of discomfort, then don't do it. And let's do one more. Other hand, get those cupped fingers. That really helps to get into some of those tender spots. I'm always surprised by how wonderful, wonderfully relaxing this is. So again, if you want to add a little bit extra movement, start with your head facing away from your elbow. And as you massage, you gently turn your head so that it ends up facing the elbow. And let's do one last one. just kind of shake everything out after that. That's perfectly great. I want to thank my colleagues and friends for being here today and helping me. I bow in respect to you. Thank you caregivers for taking time for yourself today. I bow out of respect for you. I bow in respect of this wonderful healing tradition and for all of the teachers who have taught me along the way. Thank you everyone.